Welcome back my dear student teachers to the course knowledge and curriculum. We are now into the fourth unit curriculum designing development and evaluation and we are in the fifth module which talks about indicators of effective curriculum construction content, existing pedagogies and instructional approaches, teacher training, textbooks and instruction materials. This is Dr. V. Girija before you, professor and head for the Department of School of Education Wales Institute of Science, Technology and Advanced Studies, Chennai. Now let us move on to the module. In the fifth module, where it, uh, it concentrates on the indicators of effective curriculum construction and which encompasses the various elements that contribute to, to a well-designed and impactful educational program. Let us look into the key indicators for curriculum construction, that is for the, especially for the effective curriculum construction. Clear learning objectives must be defined. So clearly defined and measurable learning objectives that guide the instructional design and assessment is essential. And alignment with the standards, adherence to the educational standards and the requirements and ensuring curriculum meets established benchmarks. Relevance to real world tech context like integration of real world applications, making the curriculum practical and applicable to students, lives, and sequencing and progression, logical sequencing of content, ensuring the a progressive and coherent uh, learning experience, inclusivity and diversity, uh, consideration of diverse learning styles, backgrounds and abilities to create an inclusive curriculum, engaging pedagogy, implementation of varied and engaging uh, instructional methods that cater to different learning preferences, and assessment variety like inclusion of diverse assessment methods to evaluate student understanding and skills and flexibility for adaptation like flexibility to adapt to changes in education needs, technological advancements and emerging needs. Resource accessibility, availability of resources including textbooks, technology and teaching aids to support effective instruction and feedback mechanisms like mechanisms for ongoing feedback from students, teachers and stakeholders to inform curriculum adjustments, integration of technology, thoughtful integration of technology to enhance learning experiences and prepare students for the digital age and interdisciplinary connections, opportunities for interdisciplinary connections, fostering a holistic understanding of subjects and teacher professional development, support for teacher professional development to ensure effective implementation of the curriculum adaptability to change, capacity to adapt changes in education policies, societal needs and advancements in pedagogy, continuous improvement plan, implementation of a continuous improvement plan based on regular evaluation and adjustments and the stakeholders involvement, involving of uh, involvement of various stakeholders including students, parents and community members in the curriculum development process and measurable outcomes, establishing clear metrics to measure the success and impact of the curriculum on student learning and achievement, reflection and evaluation, regular reflection and evaluation of the curriculum's effectiveness leading to intentional improvements. Let us move on to know the role of teacher in researching curriculum. The teachers have two options in the process of research. One possibility is to innovate options to resolve issues regarding objectives, organization of experiences, evaluation or the total curriculum effect that are right and the important problem is to use these options in the development of the curriculum. Second is identifying the important areas of curriculum discussion, raise questions about them and motivate educators to solve the problems. Areas of research in curriculum development and implementation, identification of objectives, identification of learning experiences according to the objectives, organization of learning experiences, evaluation of curriculum in terms of each of the above issues and implementation of curriculum. Teachers role in generating dynamic curricular experiences. Understand the objectives of the total curriculum and dissect and identify the components of curriculum Identify the teaching and related activities and program, listing the activities to be planned according to the components, 
and decide the priorities of activities based on goals to be reached and available during uh, during available time duration and finances available identify the research data available to decide the validity of activities conduct pilot studies wherever possible before applying ideas to a large group of students and assess the relevance of activities based on the needs and capacities of students and execute the planned activities learning experiences and use proper techniques to study the effect of learning experiences the teacher can approach different sources to plan curricular experiences and they are referring to previous literature consultation with experts teachers meetings and reference to the previous documents of the school nature of experiences to be planned the experiences that a teacher plans need to have some characteristics they are keeps the students active in the process of learning creates and maintains the students interest allows to reach the immediate and remote goals of education develops human values easy for students to accommodate new learning challenging for students and not beyond the budget of the school and developing uh, intellectual faculties and the authenticity of curricular experiences should be checked frequently through action research or formative assessment techniques regarding textbooks and teaching learning materials this textbooks explores current trends in policy and processes of textbook development and presents a variety of models for the curriculum professional to consider the potential roles of various stakeholders including the ministry of education in the production and distribution of textbooks are present and users are invited to consider the schemes that best apply to their context the full range of teaching learning materials is also explored and some ideas for the selection and production are given in relation to curriculum needs module a module is a well structured or well contained learning unit which is complete with specific objectives contents teaching learning strategies and some forms of assessment This module offers opportunities for curriculum professionals to develop their understanding of central issues related to capacity building for curriculum implementation by exploring approaches to encouraging discourse about curriculum philosophy concepts change and the implications of uh, educational for educational system and strategies for promoting new approaches to teaching and learning and information and communication technology issues in school based training and teacher education and whole school issues this module is organized around three activities and approaches to capacity building where it discusses needs for training in a framework of continuous capacity building capacity building of curriculum professionals as a requisite for reform analyzes the needs for technical training of curriculum specialists teacher involvement in capacity building helps in revising the different attitudes that can enable or block the capacity building processes in service education of teachers a prospective teacher is always prepared to learn more the professional growth of a teacher does not cease when he leaves the training institution in fact he begins to learn from different kinds of experiences Rabindranath Tagore has rightly remarked a teacher can never truly teach unless he is still learning himself the lamp can never light another lamp unless it continues to burn its own flames idea is amply clear that new experiences of teaching should be gained at every walk of life and from every new score it must be realized that experience needs to be supplemented by experiment before reaching its fullness therefore in order to alive and fresh the teacher should become all learner from time to time constant our pouring needs constant in talking meaning of in service teacher education the term is self explanatory it refers to the education a teacher receives after he has entered into the teaching profession and the teacher might have received his professional education in a teaching institute or in a college of education but he continues he or she continues his her or education and should possess three types of competencies as under competency competency in academic field competency in teaching methodology 
and competency in classroom interaction analysis and application. Objectives of in-service training program. The following are the objectives of in-service in, in training program. To equip the teachers with the latest content or subject matter in their specialized fields. To initiate the teachers in the habit of self-study with ultimate aim of keeping them abreast of the latest development in their own and allied field. To help the teachers learn economical and effective methods of teaching. To develop suitable varied programmers to meet individual needs, school needs and the needs of the state with regard to educational extension. To follow up the teachers who undergo in-service education to reinforce the objective of the training. Program of in-service teacher education. Generally, the program of in-service education in our country are organized by the Colleges of Teacher Education, SCRT, Diet and LCRT. Now, the time has come when this program as a follow-up measures can be initiated even at the individual school level and school complex level. Seminar, Symposium, Workshop, Discussion, Refresher Course, Study Groups, School Programs, Study of Professional Writing and Conferences. Few important agencies of in-service education are State Department of Education, University Grants Commission UGC, State Institute of Education, Department of State Universities, Central and State Institute for Languages and Teachers Organizations. Role of teachers in curriculum implementation. The process of education is a triangular process in which there are three points, the educator, the pupil and the subject of education. In order to be able to teach, the educator must establish some relationship with the learner based on his knowledge of the later. For this relationship to be meaningful, it is essential that the educator himself should be conversant both with the subject he is teaching and the psychology of the learner. Education aims at teaching the learner the providing him with some information. Teaching assists the learner in his contributions, in his continuous adaptation to his environment and helps to make him active, Inti uh, intended to prepare the pupil for future life. Training of teachers. In order to achieve this, it is proposed to organize specially designed orientation programs in teaching methodologies, pedagogy, sci education psychology, etc. for all new errands, entrants at the level of lecturers, to organize refresher courses for serving teachers to cover every teacher at least once in five years and to organize orientation programs by using internal resources of universities and by bringing a number of colleges together to encourage teachers to participate in seminars, symposia, workshop and orientation and refresher programs. And Indira Gandhi National Open University will run special programs to promote self-learning among teachers and the recommendations of the Committee on Revision of Pay Scales of Teachers in Universities and Colleges will be examined for implementation and teachers will be recruited on the basis of common qualifying test the details of which will be formulated by the UGC.